Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vorey, one of the automation specialists for Ramco. Are you still using mechanical cams for your packaging equipment? Did you know that electronic camming is a simple, easy replacement to those complicated mechanical setups? Let's take a look at how the Omron NJ and NX1P can simplify this task. There are a lot of applications that require and involve multiple processes operating in unison to get the job done. Filling a pouch, for example, requires sealing the sides at a specific distance, cutting, opening the pouch, filling with product, closing, sealing again, and then releasing the completed pouch. The historic method of timing this process has always been to use mechanical cams. You have a long shaft with various cams. As the shaft rotates, the cams drive other mechanical arms or rods creating specific motions. This process can get complicated when it comes to timing and accuracy. Replacing these archaic methods with a servo and electronically synchronizing the process simplifies and can even eliminate those challenges. Pairing one of Omron Automation's machine controllers like the NJ or NX1P along with a servo like the 1S or G5 facilitates a simple and easy setup of electronic camming. Let's take a quick look at how electronic camming will simplify and speed up your setup. For this application, I have a virtual axis running at constant speed, which is representing a main conveyor motor. There are two main function blocks that you use when setting up a camming application. The cam in starts the cam, and the cam out stops the cam. Simple, right? With the cam in function block, I specify what cam profile I would like to use. The cam profile specifies where the slave motor needs to be when the master motor is at a pre-specified position. As you can see, the graph maps out your data dynamically as you enter in the data points. The rest of the information you need to input specifies how fast the cam will need to run in relation to the master motor. As you can see, once I engage the cam in function block, the slave motor will rotate using the specified cam profile. This one input was much easier and faster than the old manual process, wasn't it? You can see how utilizing electronic camming from Omron would greatly reduce your overall setup time, right? If you're interested in learning more about electronic camming using Omron Automation, let me know. I'd be happy to walk you through a basic setup. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.